Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to this Saturday morning episode, today we're gonna analyze the Bitcoin price as usual and also we're gonna have a look where the DXY and the CME chart closed yesterday on Friday because now we have two days without DXY and CME trading. So let's see what we have for this weekend because weekend is always a playtime for Bitcoin and currently what we have is just sideways moving. So we are waiting here for a possible big move on this weekend that we have and let's see if we can take here a trade or not because currently in the lower time frames I get some sell signals so let's see if there is a chance that we maybe could lose this support that we're creating here at $10,700 and gonna break towards 10k but currently it looks like that we're keeping up here with the moving averages here in the one hour time frame and we have to see if we're able to push higher again towards $10,800 since we had also a week here towards $10,820 and currently we are getting rejected from it. So the CMEs closed on a Friday at exactly $10,800. So it is very likely that we're gonna stay during the weekend at those levels, but if we're gonna have a big pump or dump, then we're gonna have a new future gap on Monday. So if you want to trade the safe way, for example, on a Bybit or Femex with a short or with a long, then maybe wait for Monday because on the weekend we always have huge volatility coming in usually and the price retraces always where we closed on the CMEs on Friday. So make sure that if you want to trade the safe way and if you go always with high leverage into your trades to wait maybe for Monday, but if you want to trade more risky, then of course weekend is the perfect time for you. And currently in the one hour, you can see that we are again bouncing and testing here from the 50 level in the RSI. And the problem is since we topped out here at $10,800, also here in the RSI, you can see that after being overbought, we came already three times now down to the 50 level and the more we test it the weaker it gets so that's why i'm expecting here also some continuation to the downside potentially even again towards ten thousand dollar to test this area again but most likely here in this area of around ten thousand three hundred we should have enough support also here during this weekend and have to see if we're gonna bounce immediately straight back up here or we start to consolidate like we did over here and then maybe continue to trade to the upside but here the one hour in my opinion is looking again a bit more weaker and although if we go over into the dxy in the one hour you can see that we closed on friday here at 94.50 here we also got a sell signal but as you can see the dxy is now in a uptrend at least here in the lower time frames and it's keeping up here with the 20 and 50 moving average so also here i'm expecting on monday some continuation to the upside only if we would close here an hour candle below 94.40 then i think we could be in here for a retest of the 200 moving average here in the one hour time frame here in the dxy and this could lead into a little pump also in the bitcoin price on monday or at least at the beginning of next week but overall here in the lower time frames i'm still bullish for the dxy i still think here we have some room left to the upside potentially to between 95 to 97 dollars before we're gonna top out here and now let's go back to the bitcoin chart and open up also the bollinger band because here in the one hour you can see that we're again trading in the lower end so there is a high chance that maybe we could see a possible drop towards 10,630 here and then come back up again probably towards monday when the cmes are opening again but till then we can go easily up and down here depending how the lower time frames indicators are right now and in my opinion they are still shifted to the downside at least here in the one hour because also you can see the MACD and KSD are shifted to the downside also stochastic is coming down we are very close to oversold condition here but we still have some room left here before we could see a bounce and that's why I'm expecting in the next couple of hours some pushes to the downside and if we go over into the four hour time frame you can see that also here we are still trading below the 200 moving average we had also this week overnight up to this level we tested and got rejected from it so also that's why i think we will still have the 200 moving average as a resistance even though we could see another retest 
of this moving average before we continue to trade lower but here as soon as we're gonna close a four hour candle below the 50 or 20 moving average I'm expecting here some continuation to the downside and as I told you my friends during the weekend we have play time only the spot markets are trading so the CMEs are closed right now and wherever we are going during the week and most likely we're gonna retrace on Monday back to those levels where we closed on Friday so I don't give too much significance on price actions on the weekend but of course you can also do some trades and gain some money if you really want to trade also during a weekend we have also the RSI coming down here to the 50 level very very close I'm expecting a bounce here to the upside if we're coming down to test this middle line but of course if you would see the RSI dropping below the 50 level then we should expect here a big dump at least towards ten thousand three hundred dollar maybe even towards 10k if we have a strong week to the downside or something like that and also if we open up the four hour time frame in the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we are testing here this first moving average if we're gonna lose it then the next target would be down here 10,550 the middle line and if we really would see a bigger drop during the weekend then watch out here for the bottom of 10,220 so if we're gonna have a major dump here during the weekend because we often see pump and dumps or the opposite during weekends then maybe scale in some longs down here or if you want to short it then watch out here for this 10,700 maybe even up to 10,850 if you want to take a short position it's also not a bad idea to open up a short position because we are again very close to $11,000 where we have already very strong resistance so if you plan to open up a short because you think we will go lower then these price levels up here close to 11,000 at the moment are the best bet to go short the problem on shorts is only that if the trade is going to the wrong direction it's very hard to keep your trade alive when you go long it is very easy to keep alive your trade because the lower the price is going the cheaper you can buy bitcoin and also scale in into your long position so usually longing is always better than shorting but of course also during a downtrend you can make some money and currently we have here the KSCM MACD still shifted to the upside which would indicate that maybe we're gonna see another retest of 10,800 and then possibly getting rejected this is also possible because as long as these two indicators are shifted to the upside I'm expecting some more pressure to the upside but if here we're gonna have a bearish cross or if they're looking toppy like here the stochastic then watch out for a possible rejection up here and then continuation to the downside and now let's open up the daily time frame because yesterday we had unfortunately here a close below the 20 daily moving average so so far we didn't get a confirmation that the 20 daily moving average is our new support and that makes me also a bit more bearish because also today you can see we just had a big week to the upside and currently we're trading again below the 20 daily moving average and when Bitcoin is so weak that it's not having a big bounce out of this potential big support here of the 20 daily moving average that always scares me a bit because we could see here a big rejection and a big drop in the price and the next target if we would lose all the support that we are creating here at around ten thousand dollar the next logical target would be down here at the 200 daily moving average at around nine thousand two hundred sixty dollar exactly where although we had previous huge resistance and now it's new support in theory we could even drop or see a week below but in theory this should be now our strongest support now if this area of 10k will not hold but at the moment I'm pretty confident that we will create here a possible support at around $10,000. Let's hope also that we are not creating here a head and shoulders pattern that could take us towards $9,000 maybe even below. But overall I think $9,000 for now should be really the worst case scenario if we're really gonna lose this 10k area. We could also go lower but I think if we go lower than 9k this will be really short lift and probably we will not stay for a long time time below the 200 daily moving average the problem here also is that currently the RSI is right at the 50 level and if here we're getting rejected then we have a lot of room left to the downside so that means that a possible sell-off could be quite fast and strong here towards the 200 daily moving average 
my own indicator currently is also still flat so i would say in both directions it doesn't matter if we go to the upside or the downside i would say that in both direction we still have a lot of room left and if we are able to break through here to the upside and also take the RSI above the 50 level, this could also end up in a big inverted Bart Simpson pattern that we will start to trade immediately again towards 12k and go higher. But the problem is that also the opposite can happen. That first we're gonna see a bigger dump towards the 200 daily moving average, consolidate down in those levels and then start again to push higher. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band in the daily, you can see that here we are still trading in the upper area. So in theory, we are still trading on the bullish side. So a push towards $11,200 is still in the cards, but only if we would lose here the middle level and also start to trade here in the lower end, we could easily drop again towards 10K. So definitely right now the trading range is between $11,000 and $10,000. As long as we are not getting out of this channel, I think we will stay and consolidate in this area before we're gonna see a big next move and in my opinion it is still most likely to the downside before we're gearing up here for a big move again towards 12k and possibly also break it then we have the MACD and KSD still flat we had here a bullish cross but overall we are still trading sideways and I think we still have to wait here for clear daily closes above or below 10 or $11,000. Stochastic is also shifted to the upside, so that could lead into some more pressure to the upside. And in that case, I told you my friends, $11,200 most likely could be the top, at least for now. And now let's open up also the weekly time frame because Bitcoin currently still bounced from the 20 weekly moving average, which is of course a very bullish sign. And also if we would lose it, then watch out here for the 50 weekly moving average at around $9,000. So that's why my friends, I'm telling you, this $9,000 is a very important price level to keep up if we're gonna go down to these levels and also test the old resistance line, which now should be acting as a new support. RSI is also coming down to the 50 level. So also here the RSI is still looking bullish. And I think if we have a really big crash in the Bitcoin price and we would lose all of this 9K area, then this 200 weekly moving average down here at around $7,000 should be really the last resort. And I don't think that we will go lower than that. Also in March, when we had this huge crash, you can see that we had the weekly close here right at the 200 weekly moving average and since then we immediately bounced from it and started this parabolic move to the upside. And if we go over into the Bollinger Band here in the weekly, you can see that we are still trading between the two moving averages. And as long as we don't have a weekly close below or above these two lines, so above 11,150 or below $10,200, we will stay in this range here. So we have to wait where the weekly candle is gonna close here, especially this week and also next week, because this could indicate where we're gonna head to next. Because if we're gonna close below, then I'm targeting here this $8,200 to $9,000 but if you're able to close above then the target of course is around $12,200 at least because if you are able again to push towards $12,000 and pretty confident then most likely we're gonna also break this price level because if we are able to go again up to those levels after this huge correction that we had we will have so much buy power that most likely we are also gonna break 12k my opinion also look here at the stochastic in the weekly we are in oversold condition and if here we're gonna have a bullish cross this could also indicate that we will have a strong move to the up Side. it is still possible but therefore i also want to see crashing the dxy because as long as the dxy is pumping to the upside i'm not pretty convinced that we're gonna have a strong move here to the upside and uh, the thing is that here the macd and kst are looking toppy and if here we're gonna have a bearish cross this could lead into some crash in the price and in that case you know the targets already and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now i wish you really a nice weekend also if you want to trade the bitcoin or other assets up to 100x use the record 
recommended exchanges that you find down below here in the video description because with my links you support the channel and of course also you will get some rewards and please also join our free discord trading chat you're very welcome and we have a great community over there so thank you very much for watching my friends subscribe to the channel moan the likes and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye